Hey guys, welcome back to the Bull Combo. Today we're going to be reviewing the HQST 10 watt solar panel. Alright guys, I'm coming at you from a very pollen filled September afternoon. In case you guys are wondering why my sunglasses are on, my allergies are off the chain today. I'm not even going to try to pretend, I'm just putting my sunglasses on because it feels good. So uh, now that we've gotten over that, yeah, I just want to talk about this solar panel. I picked this solar panel up a couple months ago on Amazon. It was $35. Uh, it's by a company called HQST. No idea who they are, what they're made of, where they're from, what their reputation is. All I know is I wanted a solar panel. I've been reading about solar power for a while. I had the idea of making a solar generator at some point. I still want to do that in a later uh, video probably. But for now, I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, this thing is a 10 watt solar panel. It's monocrystalline. As you can see, it's not too uh, not too big, not too small. I can hold it here in my hand just like this. I could probably strap it on a backpack, put it on the back of a car, take it with me to a concert uh, if they let you bring it in and didn't consider it a weapon. But uh, there's a lot of different things you could do with this thing. Uh, so let's take it outside and test it out and see what we can do with it. All right, guys, we've got the solar panel set up here outside. Uh, as you can see, it's not too big only about uh, seven inches wide by maybe 15 inches tall so that's pretty awesome good size uh, you could probably even strap it onto a backpack if you needed to and you could hike with this thing uh, it comes with the uh, out cables here on the back of the solar panel and then it comes with this adapter right here now this adapter leads to a USB so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to charge uh, a phone here as well as a, a vape mod off of this USB just getting power from the sun uh, so let's see let's see how this works All right, so we've got the USB plugged in here now let's uh, plug it into the phone first instantly it started lighting up and it's charging that's awesome that was instant I don't know how long it would take to charge the phone, but I do know it's giving it power right now. And even, yeah, it doesn't even look like it's giving me the, the low charge warning, so it's giving me a pretty steady current, too. Wow, that's awesome. All right, so it is producing electricity, and it is charging a, a device. Okay, let's try the bait mod now. Yep, it's charging as well. See the red light charging on it right now? That's the red charging indicator. All right, so this is a $35 solar panel. Uh, I bought this a couple months ago, and I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it till now. <laughs> I'm actually extremely impressed with this. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna get for 35 bucks, but it's a 10 watt solar panel, and it can be linked. Uh, these can actually be linked together. If you buy more of them, you can just connect them using these cables. And then uh, obviously you connect the two outs to whatever you need to charge, but um, I believe you can even link solar panels of different sizes. So if you wanted to start with something like a 10, a 10 watt, and then you said you decided that you liked it and you wanted to move on to something like a 20, 30, 40, 50, even higher, I mean that would be something that's an option. So I think the uh, ability to link them is a huge plus, and the price point, $35, is uh, really cool for an entry level, um, a legitimate solar panel. So that's pretty awesome. That bad boy's charging. Alright guys, so after testing this thing out, uh, I'm actually really impressed with it. The price point, $35, uh, the ability to have free power, free electricity, anywhere that you can get the sun, probably even on a cloudy day. Uh, that's awesome. This is a game changer for people. You know, recently we had Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Harvey come through, uh, and a lot of people were left without power to charge basic things like uh, cell phones that they could use to reach people for help. There was a lot of times where there was no electricity, but some of the self-service was still available. So to have something like this, where you, uh, you basically have unlimited power, at least to some degree. You can use this to charge your phone, you could use this to charge a backup battery bank while you're using another battery bank. 
uh, and try to keep an endless supply charged. If you had multiple uh, solar panels, you could link them together for faster charging or charging multiple devices uh, independently with the independent solar panel. So um, I think the use cases for this are pretty limitless. And I think just from a preparedness perspective and just from a usefulness perspective, these are awesome. So I'm gonna highly recommend this. Uh, again, it's by a company called HQST. It's gonna run you $34.99 on Amazon. Uh, and it will come with the uh, USB out to charge. Now the only complaint, the only thing, only concern I have is that this USB out does feel a little flimsy. The cord, as you can see, the protective protector for the cord doesn't come all the way to the end to the module itself. So uh, you can see the cords in there a little bit. And it does kind of just dangle off the end, but it works. Uh, the USB port itself is solid. And I mean, in a pinch, it would get the job done. So uh, this is a really awesome device, guys. And there you have it. If you liked this video, make sure to like it. If you have any opinions on this or if you have any questions about it, make sure to comment down below. And if you want to see more content like this, guys, please subscribe. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for all the support so far. And as always, we will see you soon.